flight attendants get to travel for free. Well, I mean like our airfare is free. <laughs> Hey guys, I am Stella, a Washington DC based flight attendant. I travel the world and I take you with me here on my YouTube channel. I've been a flight attendant now for a little bit over six and a half years. So I feel like I can kind of call myself a travel expert. And these are really just the things that make travel and my life so much easier. And I'm just gonna start off with number one here, literally my all time most favorite travel item item that I discovered on Amazon ever. These are gear ties and they are from a company called Nightsies, Nighties. These are amazing. This is a new packet because I just wanted to show you guys what they come like in a brand new packet, but this is what they actually do. They just hold your electronic cords. Before I discovered these, my cords were just like everywhere. They were just like wrapped around everywhere inside of my bag. And I just felt like it was just so unorganized. It gave me so much anxiety, like pulling out my cord and like everything flew out of my bag. I love this lime bright neon green yellow color. This is my favorite color. I do also have them in hot pink and I did buy the black ones, but I am gonna let you guys know the black ones aren't my favorite because they're hard to see inside of my bag. I definitely like the more neon bright colored ones. There's also a lot of like different sizes of these. These are the two that I use the most. And I will just tell you, these ones are the best. This is the size that is going to work for like 99.9% .9 of your things. This size here is like not that useful. I bought these and I like never use them. I think they're just too big. Here are two cords right now. This is that long black one, but it's in the hot pink color. And it's just so aggressive. There's so much going on there. It's like getting all tangled in your cord. And this is just the regular smaller size. It's, this size just works, you guys. Just go for this size. Next, I always travel with a water bottle. This water bottle is from Swell. I got this on Amazon, and these come in a bunch of different sizes and a bunch of different colors. I really like this small size. Now that I've traveled so much and feel like I've gone on so many different flights and packed my bag so many times, I feel like less is definitely more. And when I first started packing, I took this huge, big water bottle. I was like, I'm gonna drink this whole liter gallon of bottled water, and I really don't need it. You guys, you don't need it. A small water bottle will do just fine. This one's one of my favorites just because of the size and because this can keep hot beverages or cold beverages. So say in the morning, I wanna to go to the airport and I want some tea. I take my own little like tea packets. I go to a Starbucks or a Dunkin' or any coffee shop in the airport, ask them for some hot water in here, put my tea bag in, or even like order a small coffee and put it in here and it will stay hot for a while. And then when I'm done, I just, rinse it out and I can put cold water in here. For me, this is really just a perfect size. You don't need anything more or anything less than this. <laughs> Next is headphones. I do not travel without headphones literally anywhere. Even if I'm just taking a drive somewhere, or if I'm going shopping or I'm walking my dog, I don't go anywhere without my headphones. My travel tip for you guys is if you are flying on a flight under two hours, I would say anything under two hours, you just really need a small set of headphones. You do not need these big old things. A small set of headphones will do just fine. Anything over two hours and you're gonna be on that plane for three, four, five, 12 hours, take your big noise counseling headphones. These are my favorite, these are Bose, but my brother has the Sony ones and those are amazing too. Like really any noise counseling headphones will just whisk you away. It will take you into that movie that you're watching. It'll just transport you into that music or really just like make your book on audio just that much better. These will block out so much noise because trust me, there is so much noise on the airplane. If I am bringing these big headphones, yes, I will still bring my small ones because you just never know. But um, if it is just under two hours or a very short flight, I'm just gonna take these small ones and I'm not gonna overpack and bring lots of stuff. Number four, so essential. 
this little black box power bank you guys do not go on any vacation any trip traveling anything without a power bank or with at least luggage that has a built-in power bank for you or else you will be those people at the airport searching for plugs like where can i plug my phone in or you're gonna land at your final destination and your your phone's gonna have like three percent battery left and you're like i just need to get my uber please last you definitely don't want to rely on airport outlets airplane outlets those things break all the time trust me from a flight attendant you want to have your own power bank. This one I got off Amazon. I think it was like 20 or $25. I wouldn't recommend spending any more than that. No more than like $30 for a power bank. Yes, there's some that are like, we will charge your phone for a month straight. Like this is the best power bank in the world. You're gonna be so upset if you forget it or lose it at the airport or break it or something happens. Just get one that's like $20. This one has lasted me a while. It works well. And if something happens to this, I'm not gonna be like the end of the world. It's gonna be okay. Having a power bank has definitely saved me so many times. It's just like an essential travel item. It's something I just will not travel without. Number five, we have packing cubes. And you guys, I'm gonna have to say, these are my tried and true trusty little packing cubes. I have had these for over five years. I literally discovered packing cubes my first year of being a flight attendant. A bunch of my friends had packing cubes and I was kind of lazy, like I don't really wanna use packing cubes but they are amazing, they really are. I got this set off of Amazon. It is a four pack. You get the big one here, you get kind of big one, you get smaller, and then you get baby here. I just got the regular gray color, but these do come in different colors. And this is all you need. I do not think you need fancy, crazy packing cubes. These packing cubes have worked so well. I've had them for years and literally this is every size packing cube that you need. I will tell you that I did just empty this packing cube out. This is the one that I use probably the most and I use this on all my flight attendant trips and I put my undergarments in here. I don't use this one too often. I know there's probably things I could fit in here but this one is just maybe a little too small. I just I don't know, I just don't use this one as much. This middle one, I use a ton too. I roll and put t-shirts in this one. And then this one, I'll put like bigger, bulkier items, maybe jeans, but more like uh, maybe workout type clothes in here. If I do have a big bulky sweater or a jacket, I won't put it in a packing cube. I'll just roll it and put it into my luggage on the corner or something. And I definitely notice a difference when I pack and I'm just being lazy and I just throw everything in my luggage. And by the time I get to wherever I'm going, it's just like all wrinkly and all disheveled. So I definitely notice a difference when I use my packing cubes but I will admit sometimes I get lazy and I don't wanna use my packing cubes, but when I do, these are the best ones. So just like packing cubes, I resisted. I resisted sleep masks. I don't know why for the longest time I thought sleep masks were kind of just like foo-foo and like, uh, do those really do anything? I just never really thought sleep masks worked. I am absolutely 100% a believer in sleep masks now. These really do block out the light on a plane and prevent you from waking up as easily. I'm a very light sleeper and sleeping on the plane is very difficult for me. It's still hard even if I have a sleep mask, even if I have like noise counseling headphones on, it is still difficult for me to fall asleep. What these do is they just help me sleep a little bit better. And, and these aren't miracle workers, but they do help. They prevent me from like opening my eyes because if I do open my eyes, I'm just, I'm looking into darkness. I'm like, hello darkness, how are you? I didn't really believe in sleep masks before, but now if I am going on any type of vacation, I bring a sleep mask. If I'm going like on a road trip, on a train, any type of travel, I will not go without my sleep masks. These ones are from a company called Perpetual Shade. I originally, this is my OG original Perpetual Shade sleep mask. I do not believe they come in these uh, really cool little plastic cases anymore. 
This was my original sleep mask, the very first one that I ever bought, vacay all day. And this was on another travel must-haves video. So I just thought this was so cute that I love this company that I supported and bought a few more. And these ones just live in my luggage. They don't come out. They have a little black satin pouch. I fold them up, I put them in there, done. Next travel essential here are these, what are these like little like reusable bags? Like so, it comes with its little pouch and it just folds out into a little tiny bag. This is something that I just always keep in my luggage so many times. I've needed this on layovers, I've gone out with a crew, I didn't plan on shopping, and then I come across all these like amazing stores and I buy all these trinkets for every single person in my family and all my neighbors. <laughs> these come in a lot of different colors and patterns. I really do just like a simple black one. It's very discreet. Nobody really knows what's inside of it, what you have. This could be your lunch. This could be like your dirty gym shoes. It, or it could be like something really fancy and nice and expensive in here. But um, I find that when I am traveling, when I look like a tourist in a different country or different city, I wanna go as incognito as possible. So that's why I just try to get just the simple plain black ones. These little travel bags don't take up a lot of space and they can be a good bag in a pinch. This is just something that just always stays in my luggage. I just never know when I'm going to need an extra bag or some something to transport something else in. <laughs> Next on my list that I will not travel without is a bathing suit. I just recently wore this bathing suit on one of my vlogs. This is from Somersault. I forget the exact brand. It's a new brand. Yeah, Somersault. This is a new brand that I just purchased from and I'm pretty obsessed. Like this bathing suit held me in in all the right spots. <laughs> my flight attendant luggage always has a bathing suit in it, no matter where I'm traveling to. Even if I'm like traveling to like Antarctica in the middle of winter, I will still bring a bathing suit because you just never know if there's going to be a jacuzzi, a sauna. You just never know when you are going to need a bathing suit. It's just not something I leave home without if I'm traveling. To go with my bathing suit also, this is kind of like a combo deal here, is flip-flops. I don't ever travel without a bathing suit or flip-flops in my luggage at all times. You just never know when you're gonna need flip-flops, especially these type of flip-flops, like these rubbery type flip-flops. These are Javianas. I did get these in Sao Paulo at the Javianas store. Just a memory, I'm remembering that flight attendant trip. But these are just so perfect. These have lasted me for years and years. They don't ever get ruined or broken. And you can take these to the beach, you can take these to pool. You, if you, if you're at a hotel and you think the shower looks a little sketchy, put these on and shower with these on. <laughs> put your bathing suit on in the shower with these on. Uh, yeah, but these are two items, no matter what season it is, I will travel with these. These will be in my luggage. And last but not least, travel must have, travel favorite, our hats. I always travel with a hat. I just think like a hat can hide so much. Sometimes you get somewhere to a destination and you're tired, you're, you're not looking your best, your hair's a mess, but you need to go out and get something, hat. Sometimes it's so hot and the sun is out and you just need a little coverage. I always have my hat with me. This is one of my newer hats. I really like like the look of these type of hats, like, you know, like how Miami chic do I look? How vacation chic do I look? But the good thing about these also is they are travel friendly. So they're easily foldable, they easily travel with you, and then they, you know, just bounce right back. And so they look really stylish and nice. I randomly got this one most recently at Costco for like $14.99. So like, stop what you're doing, drive over to Costco. If you have a membership, find a friend who has one. That's what I did <laughs> and buy this hat. Like this is gorgeous, it was $14.99. But most of the time, this little hat will do just fine. I have several of these. I'm from Los Angeles, so of course I love the Dodgers. But I also lived in New York for a long time, so I also have my New York one. I don't know where it's at. But just a regular ball cap or a travel-friendly, like vacation-style hat is something that I will always travel with. These also are really good protecting you against the sun because nobody wants premature wrinkles. Always take care of your skin. Always wear your SPF. 
But yeah, I will always travel with the hat. It's just one of my favorite things to travel with. So those are my travel ride or dies. I have narrowed it down. I have a bunch of stuff that are like travel favorites, but these are my travel ride or dies, my travel must haves. I will not leave the house on vacation or even a flight attendant trip without these items. I would love to know what some of your guys' absolute favorite ride or die travel items are. Let us all know down below. Let us know price, where we can get it. Maybe leave a link. No, I'm just kidding. I don't think YouTube you can do links. I think they, block those comments. So no links, just let us know where you got it. As always, be nice to your flight attendants and I will see you guys next time.